What's up guys, it's Indie Mouse and welcome to another episode of 10 Things You Missed, this time featuring For Honor. This one was not as fun as Resident Evil 7 was. And speaking of Resident Evil 7, just quickly here, a big thank you for all the support on the first episode. If you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. It's a good introduction to this series and it'll give you an understanding of why this series exists. And when I decided to tackle For Honor, I was very worried that there was going to be nothing at all to find. I started up the campaign and there was just these multiplayer maps with bots and a little bit of a cutscene at the start. And I'm like, oh no, I I've fucked up. But I did manage to find over 10 things that you missed that don't matter and some of them dumb some of them are actual easter eggs so sit down and enjoy these uh 10 dumb things that don't matter that you missed in for honor what the fuck So let's start off with an actual Easter egg here to get your juices pumping. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. In the multiplayer map Sanctuary Bridge, if you set it to nighttime, you can actually see these little two guys fighting on a bridge in the distance, which is a nice little reference or nod to the Mortal Kombat 2 map, The Pit 2, in which there's a bridge in the background with two little guys fighting, and it even has the right one on fire, which is a nice little touch. I don't really understand their swords <laughs> in For Honor. They're not really holding them. And they do actually look like 2D sprites, which could be another nice little reference to the Mortal Kombat 2 sprites. But other than that, it's a nice little nod in this gave me hope that there would be other easter eggs in this game. So speaking of 2D sprites, here's a dumb one for you. In the first level, after beating those two tutorial night guys right at the start, if you look over the edge into the camp just outside of the castle, you can tell in game that these are these are not 3D models. These are the same 2D little animation. It looks like a GIF from up here, and it's just copy and pasted all over the place. Even the ones in the background walking are 2D sprites, and this kind of reminds me of like old racing games, how the audience would be just flat. I mean, I don't blame the developer on this one. It just looks kind of funky. Definitely when you zoom in on it, it's, uh, it's very obvious. Very obvious. So when you get up to the peacekeeper section of the night campaign, I found these nice little purple crystals up in this torch here, and I don't think they're supposed to be purple crystals. I think they're supposed to be wood or coal. I don't know what you put in the torch. Personally, I'm more of a light bulb man. But hell, what would I know? Maybe they're actually supposed to be these purple crystals or amethysts, and this is just where the, the knights are hiding them. I mean, it's a pretty good location if you weren't in a third person camera. If you're thinking in rea realistic terms, who would check the torch for your goods, for your treasure? Genius. Ubisoft, if you want to contact me and say, hey man, they're actually supposed to be purple crystals. Here's a reward. Uh -huh, just let me know, anymouse at gmail.com so here's something genuine that is actually creeping the fuck out of me right now. Ever since Mario Galaxy, I believe it was, it might have been Galaxy 2, where you look up and backwards in that one stage and you see those creepy aliens looking down on you, I've always checked the top of mountains in video games. And honestly, so far it's just been a fucking huge waste of time. But I think it's finally paid off. I was looking up on this icy mountain here on one of the night campaign levels and it might still, it might be a tree. I could be wrong on this one, but I'm going to zoom in in my editing software. And what is that? Is that Bigfoot looking down on me? Is that a knight just standing up there staring down at me? What the fuck? Is that the weirdest looking tree I've ever seen? I, that doesn't look like a tree. Put that in front of a scientist. He's not going to tell you that's a tree. That's for damn sure. Although I could be wrong. It could be just a weirdly shaped tree. Let me know what you guys think <laughs> down below. Jesus Christ, this is a creep. I thought For Honor was an action game, not a horror game. So after swiftly alt f 4 after seeing whatever was looking down on me on that other mountain, a few days later I did return to the game and I found this nice little skeleton here laying against the wall and the whole scene, apart from his positioning, actually reminds me of that uh, one scene from Dark Souls 2 with the listen carefully skeleton. I'll put that on the screen as well. I know it's, it, this is not a reference to Dark Souls, I can probably say that pretty safely. There is actually a Dark Souls reference on this list that is real, but hell, I like to dream big. I like to think that the skeleton is the listen carefully skeleton even though he's not listening listening to the wall and um there's not that many skeletons for honor so i thought i'd just show you this one it's pretty pretty cool all right Here's something dumb that you missed. In the Viking campaign, up on the wall here, there's a weird green slug. I don't understand. It's like pulsating. It's looking at you. It might be a snail. It might be a, I don't know what, it, what I don't know what the hell this is. I, it's, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, actually, it could just be like a leaf coming through the wall. Never mind, guys. So I'm going to be honest with you guys here, when I'm playing the campaign, it was a little mind numbing and I almost fell asleep. So I do have YouTube on the side screen to keep me entertained while I'm searching every nook and cranny for things that you missed. So I left my character just standing here for a while and it took me a little while to notice and you probably won't be able to notice from this distance. But over on the right, in that broken little roof thing that I've never seen except on this model, uh, there's like a little texture glitch or something going on in there. Or maybe glowing eyes blinking at me. I'm going to zoom in again. You can check it out for yourself. Let me know what it is. Maybe it's like a lighting glitch or something. I don't think so though. There's something following me in this For Honor game and it's gonna follow me into real life and 
slaughter me in my sleep. What is this, the devil looking at me from the rooftops? I don't understand this one. Happens later on in the game as well, like really later on in this. It's another rooftop and it's just looking down at you from the window. What the hell is happening? These are the two spots I saw. Maybe someone else can see it somewhere else. I don't know, man. I don't know. This one's creeping me out. So I'm always talking about dumb things you guys miss, but here's a dumb thing I miss. The water guys are underneath me. That was fun. That fucked me up pretty, pretty good. And then I had to start this whole mission over again. So thank you, water guys. I really appreciate you being there. Here I am just trying to help people out showing them dumb things and you fucked me from below. <laughs> So it wouldn't be a top dumb thing video if I didn't make fun of another YouTuber. So I was searching, as I do, I always look up other people less playing the game. So maybe they see something I missed or like in the Resident Evil 7 one, I can point out things they missed. And I found good old Ghost Robo. I remember this guy from back in the day. I'm amazed he's still around. And he, I opened one of his For Honor videos and the biggest mistake of my life was clicking show more on his description. What the fuck is all of this? It looks like Wikipedia fucking threw up in his description. No wonder games don't get manuals anymore. Ghost Robo stole them and put them in his bloody description. Look at all this. What is this? For Honor gameplay part one, For Honor walkthrough part one, For Honor night gameplay, For Honor samurai gameplay, For Honor viking gameplay, For Honor multiplayer gameplay. What the hell, man? Just put it in your tags. It's, it's a, why do your description need to be so long? Just put in your social stuff. I don't know. No one cares about this, but fucking I hate when, when YouTubers do this. It looks so stupid. Anyway, that wasn't the number two Easter egg. Don't worry. Let's head back to 2012. Early 2012, late 2011. Let's crank up those memes because we have a arrow in the knee joke in a 2017 release how exciting is that so in the samurai campaign i think it's around level five you get a little cutscene to the, the introduction and your friend mamiji i think her name is gets shot in the knee <laughs> And, you know, maybe you're thinking, hey, that's just a coincidence. But then later on, during that level, when you're trying to escort her out, she says, My knee! I hope I can keep adventuring! Out of all the Easter eggs, there's not many Easter eggs in this game, and they decided to go with a, a Skyrim 2012 Easter egg. So that's nice. I, 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 I don't know what to say about this one. Did anyone else notice this knight dead on this rock here? There's no other dead bodies around in sight anywhere, but there's this one knight just laying on this rock, and it's very, very strange. Check out this guy's cool helmet. Do you think the bear had a nose piercing before it died, or he added that after, and he's like, hey man, that looks really cool. That's what my bear helmet was missing, a nice nose piercing. Now, if you made it up to this point in the video, you've probably already realized, but a lot of people actually miss that there's a story mode in this game, and probably for good reason, it's not that great. You know what this guy missed? That there's an edge behind him. <laughs> oh, got him. Okay, that, I, I feel bad about that. I'm gonna apologize to him. Here's something I still don't believe, and I played the campaign. There's an elephant mini boss kind of fight where you have to charge it into the door and stuff. They modeled an elephant. That's fucking brilliant. Oh cool, there goes my connection to the Ubisoft servers. I guess that's the end of the speed round. I actually have a better idea anyway. Here's a dope kill montage of me and my boy Iron Pineapple killing some fools and duels. Feeling flawless. It's obvious. I got a really good day ahead. Could it do my taxes? It's the law, kid. Got a bowl of cereal. Laid out some envelopes, some documents, and you know I had some honey nut Cheerios. I got a theory though, a hypothesis. I don't really gotta do my taxes, right? I can dodge it. Sight. I'm conscious of the consequences and more than happy to contribute and pay my dues to a bottomless deficit. Check it. I got my brand new W2 and it's due sooner than later. So let me tell you what you do. You get your business receipts laid out and add them up. Get your business Business receipts added up and write them off, nigga. That's it, done. Gotta stack them zeros. Inflate that refund. Inflate that ego. <laughs> my Negro. Then yo, my honey nut Cheerios. I wrote it off as a honey nut businessman. <laughs> And finally, for the last Easter egg, this is my favorite one in the game, naturally, because it is the Dark Souls one. In the Samurai campaign, in the swamp level, you can look out in the distance and see a bonfire that's with a sword thrust into it. And whenever I see a Dark Souls Easter egg in a video game, it makes me very happy. Definitely in For Honor, I was not expecting this one. So yeah, props to the developers. I wasn't expecting to find anything in this video game, but I did. I find some cool stuff, some dumb stuff, some really stupid things that don't matter. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I don't know how to end videos, so go follow me on Twitter. Right. And to celebrate, I'm gonna jack off in the bathtub Wild and all done, federal, local, and state Deal. Fat refund coming my way And yo, when I'm jacking in the bath I'm gonna bat my wiener up and some coming So I can shoot it in my face, uh. I better do my taxes Roll my W-2 and pass it Smoke it down
down to a pile of ashes Man, fuck all that math shit My story ends the same way it begins I refuse to do my time